Hello Stratters, welcome back. I'm Binky B and this will be the fourth and final match with Chandra Fire of Kaladesh. Played by my good friend August and he's going up against uh, Christian who is playing Bremas, King of Oreos. So Christian has been playing this deck for I think every tournament so far and it's getting better each time so He's definitely a potent threat here. Uh, Swift Spear from August will put the beats on right away, which is uh, a good place to be. And that forces Cri Christian to play uh, a Nyxborn Shieldmate. Might be its name, I don't recall all the um, Bestow guys. It's a 1-2. Not the best uh, blocker for uh, the Swift Spear, I would say. So Shrine comes down again. It's a pretty frequent play from uh, August, I have to say. And Swift Spear comes in for two. And Christian decides to take it, which is probably a good idea. Planes into. He has so many crusades and stuff, so it could easily be one of those. No, it's just gonna just source the um, switch bear and attack for one. Playing Hopeful Eidolon. 1-1 one, one lifelink with bestow for 4. So it's not a very impressive board uh, for either player, I suppose. Uh, but a crusade or two would definitely change uh, the math a lot. So August has picked up his third land. Now we could see something like a sudden demise for two. That would be a pretty good deal. Well, it looks like a young pyromancer. Yeah, it is. I got so wrecked. <laughs> playing my young pyromancer against Christian. I played it and uh, used the Gitaxian probe to look at his hand and it was nothing. And then he drew his card, passed back and I attacked into raised the alarm. <laughs> so I got completely wrecked there but yeah that happens. Silk Wrap takes out young pyromancer and no response there. It's probably uh, pretty good for uh, Christian and he can keep bashing for two. I'm not certain if you should have played uh, Bremas there or not, but hmm. Incon Chandra triggering the shrine again. August also misses his, his um, fourth land drop, which is um, something you should note, but because that could make it harder to uh, flip. Uh, Chandra. So Honor of the Pure comes in. It's a pretty good play because now Bremas is out of mm, almost all range uh, when you play it next turn. You could attack with one here. Uh, I don't think that's wrong. But it could mean that uh, a, a Chandra attack uh, before blockers bolt uh, Christian's blocker could be a very unfortunate turn of events. That could be the case anyway, especially uh, since uh, August uh, has made a land drop if he has like a searing blaze. Looks like he has an arc trail. Arc trail not super good here. I could see using Arc Trail just because um, its value goes down so fast here. So we have a ping from Chandra, which indicates at least one spell. It's an Arc Trail. It would probably kill, yeah, kill the Hopeful Eidolon 
Oh, okay, and deal two, or deal one to the shield mate. All right. And so I'm pinged again, and that should mean another spell. Painfire for zero, just to flip genre. All right. And shrine up to seven, which is pretty good too. So Chandra is uh, meant to finish off, yeah, the shield bane. Yeah, it's a pretty good turn, even though August had to sacrifice the bane fire just to flip. I think it's a decent, uh, decent line. The problem now is, I guess Shrine can take out uh, Bremas, but that might be worth it anyway. Just gonna play a Soldier of the Pantheon and pass. I'm not certain about that line. I do understand that you want to wear out uh, uh, all the burn spells that you can, but this is just this is just going nowhere. Yeah, Searing Blood will take that out, dealing three, adding a counter, and now you're looking at. Um, uh, uh, close to lethal uh, shrine. I think it's up to like nine. Together with Chandra next turn, that will be twelve damage. So that's pretty risky. Just playing a spear here is also kind of pointless. Um, I still get the line though that you wanna buff up Rima so it will survive burn, but. There is no point in keeping your commander alive if you're gonna die, so... I'm pretty certain that this could be the last turn. And even if it's not, how do you survive uh, just the burn that is on the battlefield? Oh, this is gonna pass, not gonna do anything. He has a roast and an exquisite firecraft, so... Bremus could have died. Oh, Ghost Court is gonna be sacked immediately to kill. Balakut. It's two turns away at least before it triggers, so I'd probably just use the Ghost Quarter for mana instead, so that your next turn could replay Bream as if it's needed. So now Shrine is at 10, it will be 11, and with the Exquisite Firecraft that's just game, so uh, this should be the end of it. So yeah, 10 damage to the face. And two and firecraft. Yeah, that will end game one. So, Chandra up a game against Primas. Let's move over to the second game. Time for game two here between Chandra and Primas. Uh, kind of explosive. Uh, game one, uh, the white weenie deck didn't really get off the ground and uh, the red deck just piled on damage and whenever they get to use a Shrine of Burning Rage for 10 that's usually a bad sign so uh, the players are gonna consult their opening hands I saw a lightning bolt in August's hand looks like they're both gonna keep and Kristen will open with planes and what is it called? Glaring light or something light. Or lens of truth it might be. I, I don't recall what it's uh, what it uh, what its name is, but I think it's uh, it's chomping on hex proof. And then an honor of the pure. So that's a pretty good one. And August will re reveal his kill fiend and uh, play it. So that's a decent, uh, decent turn two in the face of no, uh, no opposition. And a silk wrap will take that out. Uh, I still think you would like to play um, uh, your commander more frequently, but. Shauna comes down, that's a commander, and just passes back. So 
So Christian probably has a few options for him here. Glaring Spotlight was its name. I've checked it up. Yeah, it it, it removes hexproof and it could give your creatures hexproof and unblockable this turn. All right, so it's uh, it's probably more for that reason. Still means you gotta untap with it. So frontline medic will come out here instead of pre mass. So it's a four four. I'm not certain what it's supposed to do. It can counter something with uh, X in its mana cost. Chandra will ping usually a bad sign. And what do you have? You have 4 mana. Searing Blood and Searing Blaze. Searing Blaze. If the plan is to um, to flip Shonor, I'd probably go for the Searing Blood because with Honor of the Pure in play, I its value is pretty low. It can kill a one toughness guy basically. Okay, so Arc Trail will will uh, will finish it off. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think it would have been better to use the Serum Blood, but uh, that's fine. A bit of lag there with the life total as well, but they're back now. Um, you could probably have gone for Serum Blood, Arc Trail, 2 1 instead of 1 2, and still have Serum Blaze in hand if you had another land available. And this is also why I would have played Bremas last, last turn because. It's just gonna die this turn, regardless, since it's a f it, it effectively already have two damage on it because of Chandra. So any three damage spell would uh, take it out. So that's why also why I would have considered keeping uh, Searing Blaze instead because land drop Searing Blaze Chandra would have killed Bremas, uh, and that would have been more effective, I think. So now you're gonna go for Lightning Bolt Chandra. Still a fine play, but uh, I think it would have been better to uh, to do the other way around. But that's a small thing. Searing Blood could o obviously have more targets, but uh, it's not guaranteed. So it's Searing Blood. Is this an activation? Yeah, and a bash for two. Probably a good use of uh, August time here, I would imagine. And Christian is stuck in three lands again. Um, that means Primus is not coming out for at least two more turns. I think August has a sudden demise in hand as well. Might be. Yeah, I'm not certain about the glaring spotlight uh, um, in this matchup. Red typically doesn't have hexproof, so it's it's most likely just because you can give your own creatures hexproof. A three-three paladin will join the battle here. Which is good. So August has a Stagger Shock, still has the Searing Blood, and he can combine those two to take down the Paladin if he wants to. But uh, Christian's big creatures are wearing August out. You could also mine a Shauna, but I don't think you want to do that. No, Stagger Shock will finish it off, and that will also. Uh, take uh, three three life away from the Searing Blood, and the Chandra activation makes it five in total. 
So down to eight we go, and the last card in in August hand is, I think it's sudden device, but I'm not certain. So it actually looks like if Christian can uh, muster something good here, uh, elixir of immortality is not it. It's clearly the draw for the turn. Uh, he might actually have a chance to get back into the game. Something like a core Firewalker would be insane here. But he just passes the turn and that is not good. Stagger Shock will come in, bring him down to 6. Chandra plus uh, Gitu Encampment will make him go down to 2. But then of course he has the Elixir, which is a bit more life, but... 3 mana. Oh, good draw this turn, the Berserker. So, first of all, this is lethal. Uh, or the attack is not lethal, it's for 4, but... Uh, okay, that's the Hallowed Light, or whatever it's called. The Convoke Exile something. So that's, a, that's good. So he's only gonna take two, and then two more from Chandra, and once again, the life total is bugging out. It's fine though, we know, we all know how it is. There's a flag bear and elixir, so that brings uh, Christian up to seven, and um, the flag bear won't do that much. It cannot block the encampment. Cannot redirect uh, the target player loses life portion. Did we really miss out on the life totals that bad? Oh well. Uh, I think August is at 25 and Kirsten is at 7, so we're looking at uh, one more decent draw from August, could finish off the game. Let's see if he kills the flag bearer with Chandra, attacks for 2, that's case then down to 5. Yeah, the flag bearer will go down. You don't have to do that, but it's still the safest play. Keto encampment will roll in, case then already <laughs> has its ha his hands on the life die there, so there we have it. You're back, at least for the moment. Grim Lava Monster was the draw for the turn. Not the best draw, obviously, but with with the cards uh, in play now, August has lethal, so that's a pretty good, pretty good scene. The fifth land will come in. Does that mean Bremass? It does. So let's see. If you Lava Monster Bremas, no that doesn't work. You could you could That's four damage in play. So if you can muster up one more damage you would win here. Real uh, land. So you can Sudden, yeah, he's gonna burn f white creatures for five. I believe, yeah, it's definitely the right call here because Bremas is far away from coming out again. And then ping two and have Lava Mancer up, which would make it uh, Kirstinger down to. One, so he needs to deal with Chandra, Lava Monster, and yeah, that's a scoop. And August will win two games to zero. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at Magic Gath Strat, Facebook slash Magic Gathering Strat, or on the web, magicgatheringstrat.com. There, you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.